We all run in the same race, but we didn't start the same place. And so if you ascribe to like bootstrap mentality, just you just need to work hard and pick yourself up. I mean, that's great if I got some boots. The United States incarcerates more of its population than any other nation, including nations that have similar or higher rates of crime. Approximately 67,000 people from North Carolina are incarcerated. But 95% of the people in prison have a release date. In Buncombe County, we're what we kind of call resource rich compared to many rural counties. So we have a lot of resources here available for folks. So with that being said, we can focus on people returning to the community from incarceration in prison. We strive to reduce recidivism in terms of failure to appear, new arrest and parole violation with individuals post-conviction slash post-incarceration through increasing access to employment, housing, transportation, and education. The difference between reentry specialists and what I do is I'm boots on the ground. Um, you know, I'm hands on. You know, my team, we do our best to connect with people before they are released from prison, connect with the case managers on the inside, assist with the reentry planning. Um, the prisons are short staffed right now, so the, the services that we provide support the case manager as well. And those needs typically fall into four categories housing, employment, transportation and educational goals. It's really just about giving people another opportunity and not having folk so relegated and tied to their past. I know for me, um, prison provided the structure that I needed. Cause I was on drugs real bad. You know, I was selling drugs, gang banging, you know, uh, doing the drugs. And it was hard for me to get out of that lifestyle because I was selling what I was using. Um, you know, I didn't see a way out. And when I went to prison, I had the opportunity to look at myself in the mirror. It was a very blurry mirror because it ain't like they got good mirrors in prison. <laughs> but, uh, but I had a chance to really look at myself and reflect on what was going on in my life. A significant portion of current or formerly incarcerated people have or do struggle with substance abuse issues and or mental health issues. And so that pain that I felt while I was in there is what led me to want to change. And when I had made my mind up to change, I was in need of a change agent. But a change agent is a person who is contributing to improving the situation because something has to be changed. The rate of recidivism in the United States is approximately 70% within five years of release. So while you're in prison, you have opportunity to do things to take programs. But if you're going to have any semblance of rehabilitation, it's going to be because you took the initiative. Now, if you able-bodied, the prison going to make sure you got a job. But as far as any type of change, transformation, rehabilitation, that's going to be on you. Like people aren't just sitting in there doing nothing. People are in there taking classes, they're getting a GED, getting trades, working, working in the kitchen, laundries. And for many people, even like myself, you know, that was where I got my work ethic. So how I'm even really connected is that in 2004, I was released from prison myself. So that's kind of what got me into the work. And I think it gave me this level of expertise in a sense, because I know what it's like to be inside and I know what it's like to have to navigate the transition. You no, know, even people like Brent Bailey, he was my uh, project reentry facilitator. And that gave me hope whenever he had revealed that he had done time, you know? They're just going to have to believe that no matter what circumstances they face, they're not insurmountable and they can overcome. But you got to stick to it and you can't look for any excuse to jump off. You know, it's one thing to work with people that are struggling with addiction. It's another thing to work with somebody who, who's coming home from prison and there are tangible uh, uh, tactics at assisting this person. You know, and you can see the rewards. A lot of folk come out and they think, man, I got to start from scratch. I got to start all over. And they think it's going to take five years. And six months later, I see them 
Uh, they not only have a job, they done bought them a car, they done got their license back, uh, they got their own place. Let's go. They done had family restoration, maybe with their children, and a lot of things taking place. It's just so many things that you get to see, and it's no better feeling than getting that text message and say, bro, I got the job. You know, it's, it's no better feeling than that. In Buncombe County, the number of people released from incarceration being charged with new crimes fell from 17.4% in 2019 to 15.1% in 2020.